Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So this is correction to interior angles in polygons and uh, we have about six questions there. So the first question is polygons with A size. Polygons with A size is called what? So we've... Alright, so polygons with A size is called... So we have to look for octagon. So here they are testing a spelling. An octagon, the right uh, spelling of octagon here is the last option that we have there. That is option D. How that is very clear. So move to the next one now. All right. Uh, the second question is asking the sum of interior angles of a polygon. Sum of interior angles of a polygon is uh, it's talking about the formula here. So which we said to be N minus 2 bracket or bracket 180. So we treated that. So that is that on that one. Then for question number three, for question three, the number of triangles in a pentagon. So to get the number of triangles in a pentagon, that is n minus two. So pentagon has five sides. Five minus two will give us what three. So the answer is three. All right. So the fourth one, the sum of angles of twenty-one sided polygon. Some of angles of 21 sided polygon. So we have to look for the formula first n minus 2 bracket 180. So this is all we're going to apply. So 21 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. Are you with me? So that means we have 19 times 180 degrees. So let's multiply 19, 180 by 19. So this is 0. So 72 carry 7. That is 16. That is zero eight zero eight uh there is one so that is zero two fourteen that is three thousand four hundred and twenty which is this option I, I hope that is very clear <clears throat> all right so move to the uh next question that is question five so question five the sum of angles of a polygon is this. Find the number of sides the polygon has. So we have been given the sum of angles. So which is n minus 2 multi bracket 180 degrees equals to 8,640 degrees. So when I ask to find the number of sides, which is n. So it is n we are looking for in this case. So let's first of all uh, divide both sides by 180. All right, 180. So this 180 cancel this 180. So it remains n minus 2. So 0 cancels 0. So uh, let's find. Uh, <clears throat> so let's divide this. So 864 divided by 18. 864. Div 864 divided by 18. So this gives us 48. So that is 48. So don't forget it's n we are looking for. That means n will then be equal to 48 plus 2, which will be equal to what? 50. So that means the number of sides of that polygon is 50 size. So we don't know its name, right? Okay. So this is question. Uh, out of four angles of a heptagon, are uh, this, this, and this. The remaining angles are equal. The first thing is how many sides has a heptagon? So, which is seven. Heptagon has seven sides. That is n is equal to seven. So, that is the first thing we need to understand. So, uh, out of the seven angles that we have there, we have been given four. Right? Then the remaining three are equal. So, which means that the first thing we need to do is to calculate the sum of angles in a heptagon. So which we are going to make is also n minus 2 bracket towards 180 degrees, which is equal to 7 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So that is 5 times 180 degrees. So that means 180 multiplied by 5. This is 0, 40. Uh, that is 900. 900 degrees. Now, so we then need to add all these together. We need to add this together. So the four angles given, we want to add them together. That is, we're going to have 140 plus 105 uh, plus 118 
then plus one three five so let's add together so this is 18 we carry one that is five uh five that is nine so this is four that is four nine eight so that this one then subtracts four nine eight from it four nine eight so that means nine hundred nine hundred minus four nine eight so that gives us four hundred and two four hundred and two all right so it gives us four hundred and two and we've been told that the which means the remaining three angles addition of the remaining three angles is 402 so which means 402 will then be divided by three so three here one remainder one that is three remainder one that is four so that gives us 134 degrees because the question is find the size of one of the equal angle which is 134 i hope this is very clear so that is that i think that's all the questions we have here and uh, that is where we're going to stop so we're going to continue uh in our next video so bye for now